when you are serious and care enough about something you do what you can for it and you do it the best you can let's say that uh, you want to bring some changes in your life or in a certain area of whatever it might be your workplace whatever so remember whenever you want to do something you have the picture of it in your mind or it's drawn some way and you want to see thus becoming the reality so I'm going to give a simple example let's say that you want to go from point A to point B so what do you do what do you need so you need a roadmap so you need to know where to stop where to speed up where to turn left where to turn right so now let me talk about you want to become something you want to be someone example you want to become a doctor or you want to specialize yourself in a certain area of your profession so what do you do coming to my do the best of my abilities the way i think i think you need to establish few lists according to me the first one will be about the skills that you need for that to become reality what skills do you need to become an expert in that area what information do you need i've learned that for anything to take place for whatever that is needed first you need to become that person to bring the change so what skills do i need what information is required you establish this list all that all that saying that you already did metallurgy now you want to do mechanical engineering so you list all the courses in mechanical engineering all of them on this list done so now what else you need the second list so now you need to list all the courses of the modules that you've learned we're talking about the skills all the skills that you have so you, you list down one two three four five everything is listed down let's now compare so you take the list of what you have the skills the information the knowledge everything that you have you put it there and you take the other list of requirements so now we check what is that i have the side that i've already covered the other side you take everything that you have already done now you remain with five so what should i do for me to get these five that are remaining what book should i read who should i contact now you make this list what book should i read who's the person that i should contact where should i go how can i gather this information you write down how much time would it take me for me to accomplish it very important how much money would it require for me to cover all this the books to buy the people to see in terms of transport where are they how much money should i spend on my petrol how would i do it so list down how much will take you for you to do that so now this list of how much will take you for you to do it is done so now when am i studying it's very important because i've realized that a lot of us have told ourselves to do stuff but we're becoming lazy on doing it everything might have been done but now we are lazy to studying it so you need to push yourself a little bit up 
We should start very well, you know. So when am I starting? I'm gonna start tomorrow, today late, or just now. How long is it gonna take me to finish it? How long? How long for me to see the change? How long is it gonna take me for me to cover the modules of mechanical engineers? How long is it gonna take me for me to become what I wanna become? Because as I said, for whatever change that need to be brought about, the person or whoever that needs to bring the change need to becoming the right person to bring the change. You know what I mean? You can only construct something if you're a constructor. You can't construct if you're a constructor. You can't build if you're not a builder. What do you know about building? So you need to become a builder for you to build, for you to build that building. You need to be a constructor for you to construct whatever that is needed. You need to be that technician, an electrician, for you to do electrical jobs. You need to become whatever that is needed to do whatever that needs to be done. So this being said, you know some people don't have problem with starting. They start, they are there doing everything. But now, things become heavier on their minds, their body, or their spirit. That's why it's important to work on your spirit, to work on your mental, to work on your physical parts. So your, your mental parts, your spiritual parts, your physical parts. Let's say that uh, you are doing something, but you never thought you're going to be so heavy in your mind that, that there's too much stress that you can't carry it anymore. But now, what is that can push you to carry on or to continue? I think you having your eyes on the goal, the excitement that you have about what you're gonna see at the end, at the end of the journey, the excitement of the goal that's gonna be accomplished, this might push you. That's what I said one day. That do for whatever that you want to accomplish, develop enough emotion for it. Develop a strong emotion for it. You know we are emotional creatures. And most of our decisions are taken based on our emotion. So develop enough emotion for it. So when you have enough emotion for whatever that you have to do, you're going to push yourself to get there. Because you care enough. Because you are serious about it. Because it's not what you see that matters. It's what you're going to get at the end of the road. That's what matters. Who you're going to become after achieving that goal. Be excited about that goal. I say it's one day. When we are inspired, we do our best to see that thing happen because our eyes are on the end result. We have enough emotion for it. We are so inspired that we can't stop. We can't wait for a day to start for us to be working on that goal. We can't wait for the night to end for us to be doing what we have to do. We are so desperate sometimes that we don't want to sleep. We want to work, work, work on it in order for us to see that happening. So these emotions are strong, a good emotion, inspiration or desperation. So be desperate enough for you to can't sleep just to work on that goal. Be inspired enough for you to not wait for the sun to rise for you to start working on that goal, on that project. So when you have these things, I can tell you, these emotions being on your side, even one of them, either desperation or inspiration, you're going to do great. You're going to do great. Talking about emotions, I said this one day. The, th the problem is not what the thing is or whatever that thing might be. It's what that thing represents to us. What we think that that thing is to us, that's what is important. I said another day that that's why we have friends. This Despite the fact that these friends are thieves, they are crooks, or whatever they might be. But since we have a strong emotion for them, since we have developed something for them, they are our friends. Us having this kind of moral values and them having this kind of moral values, but we are friends. Why? It's what they represent to us. What we think they are for us. That's what keeps our relationship going exactly so develop enough emotion for whatever goals that you want to achieve care enough for it 
be enough serious for it that will push you to go forward until you see the end result you won't stop on the way you're gonna keep on keep on and keeping up until you see that's happening so this is how you bring about a change so you develop the list of what you have you develop the list of what is needed so you set the time when to start you also set the period how long it's gonna take for me to accomplish it develop enough emotion for it strong emotion become that person that is needed to bring about the change that you want to see in your life you want to see in that area you want to see on your own or in your workplace to become that person to bring about that change desire the change to come desire the change to be established look if you don't wanna cook sweet pie you won't learn about the recipe of sweet pie but if you wanna cook sweet potato sweet pie whatever it is you're gonna learn the recipe for it because you have the desire of seeing that you have the desire of cooking it you have the desire of seeing it on your plate or seeing it around you that's how it is that's how it is i think this is what i had to share today so it's your first time to be here don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that bell button be notified every time we post something new here so here we speak about personal development you know all those things that you're gonna make people be better make this world becoming a better place to live on so we speak french english so far so we want everybody out there to be touched so take care of yourself and see you on the next video bye